Hello, and welcome to Drunk on Tea. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint Space Marine in the colours of the Blood Angels using just five paints. This is the Blood Angel I'm going to paint up here. And the colours I'm going to be using are Mephiston Red, White Scar, Corvus Black, Lead Belcher, and Known Oil. As you can see, I've already primed the model black, so this will give us a nice solid base colour to work off of when adding our colours. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in with my fist and red and I'm going to paint all of the power armour. So take a little bit of my fist and red, put it on your palette, and then with a little bit of water, just going to thin it down so it runs nice and smoothly off of the brush. And now I'm going to apply this all over the power armour to the model. This will take a couple of coats to get solid cover all over our black primer, but just work your way around the model, working it into all of the recesses, and in a couple of thin coats, we'll build up a nice solid layer from a fist and red. By thinning the paint down just a little bit, it will stop it from being too thick and obscuring any details. And by using a few thin coats, we'll build up to a solid color all over the power armor. You don't need to worry about being too neat at this stage. You can get this over areas that we don't want to be red at the end of the model. But just work your way around, painting all of the power armour with a couple of coats of Mephiston Red. And you can see after the first coat, it's still quite blotchy coverage. So I'm coming back in with a second thin coat to build up to a nice solid colour of Mephiston Red all over that power armour. If after the second coat's dried, it's still a little bit see-through, you can come in with a third coat till you get that really solid, rich Mephiston Red colour all over the power armour to our Blood Angel. And after a couple of coats, you can see we've got a really solid red colour all over that power armour to the Space Marine. So now I'm coming in with some Corvus Black. I'm going to apply this to selected areas on the model. So to start off with, I'm going to apply it to all of the gun casing. Doesn't matter if you get this over any of the parts, we're going to paint with metallics. Let's just cover all of that gun casing with a coat of Corvus Black. I'm also going to apply it to the chain sword as well. And the handle and the cross guard. I'm also going to paint all of the pouches and the belt to the model. So catch these with a couple of coats of Corvus Black and any strapping on the model as well. I'm also going to catch the undersuit to the power armour. So that's these ridged bits here sticking out from joints of the power armour. Make sure you catch all of these with a couple of coats of Corvus Black as well. Try and be nice and neat at this stage. You don't want to get any of the Corvus Black over the power armor we've already painted. But if you do, you can come back in with some Mephiston Red and tidy those areas back up. There are quite a lot of parts of undersuit on this model, so just take your time and make sure you pick them all out with some Corvus Black. And finally, I'm also going to pick out the Aquila on his chest with a couple of coats of Corvus Black as well. Now there are different company markings within the Blood Angels. Some of them use black on 
on the knee pads and on the shoulder trim. So depending on what company you're painting, you may also wish to put some Corvus Black on these areas as well. And with that Corvus Black applied, you can see we've really broken up that red colour and added some interest and detail to the model. So there's only one more base coat we have to apply, and that's some lead belcher. And for this, we're gonna apply any areas of metal. So I'm gonna apply some to these parts here of the gun, like the magazine and the back of the gun and the handle as well. I'm also going to pick out the engine part to his chainsaw and the teeth to the chainsaw as well. Let's just attach these with a coat of lead belcher. And then there's also the vents on the backpack as well. So I'm just going to make sure I catch these ones here at the top. This part here on the side and these ones at the bottom with a coat of lead belcher. And with that lead belt to applied, that is all the base colors applied to our model. So the next step we're gonna do is shade some of these areas. So to start with, I'm coming in with some Mephiston Red and Corvus Black. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Mephiston Red, put it on my palette. This is gonna be about a two to one ratio. So I'm also taking some Corvus Black, applying this onto my palette and mixing the two colors together. This will create a dark red mix that we can then add a lot of water, really thin this down so it flows really smoothly and will run into all of the recesses. We're basically creating our own shade paint for a really dark red color to do a recess shade. So now with a really fine brush, work your way around the model and every groove, every recess, the edge of every panel, every dip in the model, add a thin recess shade of this dark red mix all over the model. And while it's wet, it doesn't appear to be too dark, but it does dry a lot darker, but not as dark as if we'd use pure black. And this will really add some interest and make all of these armor panels pop on the model. So yes, this step will take a little while, but just work your way around the model, picking out every single one of these recesses with a thin line of this red and black mix. If you come in a little bit too thick at any point with any of these lines, you can come back in with some Mephiston Red and tidy them back up. So just take your time, work your way around the model and pick out every single recess with a thin recess shade of this mix. Don't forget to do the inside of the shoulder pad trim as well. Make sure you catch these areas with a recess shade too. And now with some known oil, just going to do an all over shade over some other areas. So for this, you don't need to thin it down. I just use a palette so I don't overload my brush. And for this, I'm just gonna paint it over all of the areas we paint with lead belcher and with Corvus Black. This will sink into all of the recesses, adding some definition and really helping to make those areas stand out on the model. This is why I use Corvus Black rather than Abaddon Black for this model, because it allows me to use known oil and still shade those areas. Just pick all of the metallics and areas of Corvus Black with a shade of known oil.
If you're enjoying the video, please press like. If you want more videos, press the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And after those shades have dried, you can see it's really added some definition all over the model. So now with some Mephiston red and white scar, we're going to highlight the power armour. This is about a 3 to 1 ratio. Mix the two together on your palette. Add a little bit of water just to thin it down. And now we're going to apply an edge highlight all over the power armour. For these sharper areas here, you can use the side of your brush. But for other areas, you will have to use the tip. Just keep nice even lines all over every panel of the power armour. Now much like the pin shading, this step will take a while, but this works really well with the pin shading and gives us a really nice look that really makes the armour pop. So just take your time at this step, work your way around the model, and every panel every edge of the power armour. Give it a thin edge highlight of this mix. Try and keep your lines nice and thin, but if you do come in too thick at any point, you can come back in with a bit of Mephiston red and thin the line down and tidy it up. If you're not using just the five paints that I am here. Wild Rider Red and Evil Sun Scarlet work together to make a really nice edge highlight for Mephiston Red for Blood Angel Space Marines. But unfortunately, because I've just got the five paints here, I had to make my own by mixing some white scar into the Mephiston Red just to lighten it up a bit. So as you can see here, I'm working my way around, picking out every edge of every panel and giving it that thin edge highlight of this mix, just to really emphasize all of those edges. So really take your time, work your way around the model, pick out every edge with a thin edge highlight of this mix. And with that edge highlight applied, you can see it's really made all those panels to the power armor stand out and added some interest to the model. So now with some Corvus Black, I'm going to paint the eye lenses. Normally, for Blood Angels, these are done with green, but I don't have a green paint out of these five, so I'm going to paint them with Corvus Black instead. Just sink a little bit of this into the eye sockets on the helmet of the Space Marine. And with those eyes painted, it's now time to highlight the black. So for this I'm coming in with some Corvus Black and White Scar. It's about a 2 to 1 ratio. I'm going to mix the two colours together on my palette. Once again, add a little bit of water to the mix just to thin it down so it runs nice and smoothly. Now I'm going to apply an edge highlight to all of the areas we painted black. Be all the areas like the gun casing, give all of this fine edge highlight of this mix.
also going to catch the edge to the chainsaw as well. And the handle and the cross guard on the chainsaw too. Catch this with a edge highlight of this mix. As well as all the pouches on the model. And with some of these, you can use the side of the brush, like here on the sharp edge of the pouches. For this step as well, I'm also gonna highlight the belt. I'm just going to highlight the Aquila. So for this, I'm going to catch all the most prominent details at the sharpest ridges and all of the feathers with a thin edge highlight of this gray mix. And I'm also going to catch all the details on the undersuit. So all of these ridges here going to catch the most raised ones with a thin line of this mix just to give them a highlight and make them stand out. But finally in the eyes I'm going to sink a really thin line at the bottom of each of the eye lenses just to add some interest. And with all that black highlighted, there's only a couple of steps left to paint on the model. So now with some white scar, I'm going to sink a small dot in the back of each of the eye lenses. This will look like a reflection point for the light. Now with those eyes painted, the final step to do now is to come in with some Corvus Black and tidy up the base. To be nice and neat when you're around the feet, you don't want to paint this over any of the power arm we've already painted and highlighted. But just give all of the base and the rim a couple of coats of Corvus Black just to tidy it up and even up the colour. with the base tidied up that is how to paint a blood angel space marine using just five paints so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what other chapters you'd like to see me paint with just five colors so thank you very much for watching and happy painting